The off season is a special time here in Southwest Florida. So join me as we spend a morning on Marco Island. Welcome to the Average Meat Channel. Why is the off season so special? And what is the off season? Well, the off season is summer. Think of it as summer. It's the time when the tourists don't come down here quite as much. It's a rainy season, but I really enjoy it. One of the things that I really like is it's so easy to get into things, places like restaurants. So this morning we started off our day at Doreen's Cup of Joe. During the season, this place is so busy, there's always a wait. But now during off season, I think we're gonna get right in. Lots of seating here. We may go inside today. Doreen's is a breakfast restaurant on Marco Island. It's right on the main drag of Collier Boulevard. It is so popular in season. The parking lot is jam packed and people are just standing around waiting to get in. But this time of year, you can walk right in. It is fantastic. Doreen's is decorated kind of like old country or old Florida. You can see the roosters or chickens, or whatever they are, but the food is just so good. And look at that beautiful brass and copper cappuccino machine. It looks kind of steampunk. That is really neat. That adds to the ambiance of the place. And you can see we got right in. It's not really crowded today, but the food was really great. I ordered the hot coop. And it was really funny, our waiter, Marco, isn't that great? His name is Marco and he works on Marco. I bet everyone remembers him. But he said sometimes people misread it and they order the hot couple. So he has to remind them, no, this is a family restaurant. We also got the crab cake, eggs benedict, and the crunchy French toast. I sampled all of it. It was just so delicious. Every single bite was, it tasted so good. And I have to tell you that my hash browns, they were absolutely outstanding. I don't know, I don't think that they shred their own potatoes, but that's what it tasted like. It was so fresh. It was obviously not a frozen patty that they just stuck down in the grill. And the crab cake tasted fresh, no filler. That crunchy French toast, Doreen's crunchy French toast. I don't know what they put on there to make it crunchy, but I don't even think you need any syrup or anything with it. It's sweet and crunchy and tasty and delicious, and it's served with strawberries and whipped cream. We found our meals to be really satisfying. I don't think any of us finished our meal and we left so full and so content Then we had a few errands to run. So we took care of that and we wrapped up our day at Ori's Bakery. And after breakfast, we're stopping at Ori's in order to pick something up to take home, maybe for breakfast tomorrow. Now I've done a video previously at Ori's Bakery and they have so many scrumptious bakery items. Just look at this case. And this was mid morning. So if this was in season, I guarantee a lot of these items would already be sold out. I think the blueberry scones are calling my name. So I got myself a blueberry scone. Unfortunately, I can't tell you how it tasted because I'm saving that for breakfast or tomorrow morning. And for lunch, I got myself a chicken empanada. I haven't had that yet either, but I'll cut it open right now and give you a look at it. I met the owner of Ori's, Tom and his wife Ori. I think that was his wife Ori. And they had mentioned that they saw my last video and really enjoyed it. So maybe we made a new friend this morning, but I can guarantee if you come to Marco Island, you will not go wrong stopping at either of those places. Doreen's Cup of Joe and Ori's Bakery. And Doreen's is already kind of a landmark. And Ori's, I think it's on its way. They said that they are coming up on their one year anniversary. They still don't have a sign outside. They're using that banner. I hope they get a sign real soon. 
Tom told me the season was so busy they could barely keep up. And then the summer came and that business just dropped. No surprise there. But I do like to give the local places my business because they really do need it and we want them to stick around. Afterwards, we took a little stroll to walk off our meal and came across this cute little baby alligator. And it's rainy season, which means the frogs are everywhere. I hope you enjoyed this morning on Marco as much as we did. Well, you wouldn't have enjoyed it as much as we did because we were actually there. But nevertheless, I hope you had a good time watching this video. And I'll see you back here next time on the Average Me channel. As always, like, share, subscribe, and thanks for being here.